Ray is the first time call out of Dallas. Ray, thank you for calling you on the air. I appreciate you holding on, Ray. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Hey, it's good to talk to you, Jesse, man. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you to you. Uh, discovered your your uh, podcast uh, just maybe a few months ago. And, um, you know, uh, it's helped me a lot, man. I, I'm a millennial. Um, like, I was born in 95 and everything. So You're a millennial? Um, yeah, I'm a millennial. That's why I want to talk to you about the millennials, okay. you know, our, our generation. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, because I, I, I heard, like, earlier when y'all was doing the the show earlier, how you were saying, I tuned in, like, right when you were talking about, like, uh, like the side of millennials that's messed up. Yes. Yes. It's and, like, and, on one half, millennials are very talented, but on the other right. half, they have no morals. They're all messed up. Right. You're right. You're absolutely right, man. And um, I absolutely agree with you. I, I'm a musician, and, you know, I've been doing music since I can remember dancing and singing and writing and everything like that. So I have a lot of a lot of talent in me, man, um, just all around. And um, But you're right. Like, I noticed that there is a side that is messed up. And I think that where that comes from is the, the misguidance that we receive, like, coming into the world because it's, you know, it's, it's 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 it goes into like what you you're dealing with with bond. You know, you're building demand. Yeah. And um, yeah. it's it's it has to do with the the masculine aspect of reality. You know, the math to me, the masculine aspect of reality deals with order and structure. Yeah. And it deals with you know just having a a, a foundation. And our foundation coming into the world has been diluted. It's been you know it's it's it hasn't been true like it's been full of this deception and lies yes so you know I, as we you know we, we have a lot of talent and i believe that you know we have a lot of um you know like purpose like we're supposed to be really helping the world to to recover and heal from all of the the destruction and war yep. and you know the the corruption and everything that's been going on but we have to essentially how do you say we we have to we have to put the pieces together as far as our, our masculine side and, That's right. you know, really return to, like you said, return to God, you know, and, and come out of our fallen state before we can really achieve that. Ray, have you, we're just, we're have you lost. dealt with your mother? Say that again. Have you gone and forgiven your mother? Man, I, I, yes, I have. I talked to her. I think I still need to reiterate it to her and kind of, you know, talk to her more because, you know, it was something I was just like, so, um, how you say desperate to do? I was like, man, I really need to do this and, and get this out the way. So I just gave her a phone call one day and just kind of like, you know, I, I, I apologize for resenting you and being angry with you, you know, which I don't ever feel like I was really angry with her, but you know, I, you probably would disagree with that. I, I, I <laughs> you know, I, I probably was deep down inside, and and that's why I'm saying I think I need to like go to her and have a conversation with her in person instead of just talking on the phone. What, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, you need to face her. How old are you? 24. You're 24. You need to, yeah. first of all, get to know yourself and you'll see those things that you didn't like about her, whether it's imposing herself on you, turning you away from your father, or trying to make mm -hmm. you live life the way that she wants you to through you. And then once mm -hmm. you became an adult, she still want to control your life. Just, you know, it's those kind of mm -hmm. things that you need to look at and forgive her for so God can yeah. take her identity away from you and give you back. Uh, his identity, which should have been your father's identity, but I'm sure his mm -hmm. mother screwed him up, so he's not a real man either. Right, right. Yep, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Right so on you, point, man. So Have you I forgiven that's, your that's father? I, do. I have. I, I, I talked to him, um, and I, I just, I don't think I've, I've done this stuff right, <laughs> Jesse. <like, laughs> I don't think I've done it right, because like when I, but at the same time, like, I talked to him, I said, you know, I forgive you for, you know, um, you know, giving me that void because I felt like I just I had this type of void whenever yeah. I thought about him. Like, yeah. cause I, I would see, I would like go and live with him like every other year. My parents had a divorce, so like every other year I would go and I would live with him. But you know, he he always had uh, a marriage going on, and you know, I had to, to uh, think about what you had said. Like whenever parents divorce and then the father like like remarries to another woman, the father or the mother, away. yeah. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, and then that that gets in the way of of having that connection. And so I just think that you know, there's always been like this certain void I had with my father, 
And um, I talked to him. I told him that I forgave him for that and, you know what I'm saying, just not really showing me the way to be a man. And I told him that, you know, I, I just don't think that he ever – was shown by his father, and so you know it was just something that he couldn't help, and I and I forgave him for that. What did he say? Well, yeah. Um, what did he say? Let me think. He said <laughs> uh, he was like, yeah, you know, I think he was saying like, you know, I tried the best I could. It's, it was just hard and stuff like that. Yeah. And you know that was, that was, that was kind of the gist of it. What your mother? What did your mother say? It's kind of the same thing. Like at first, when I when I said I forgave her, like she 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 like forgave forgive me for what? And <laughs> you know that's that's what makes me so upset because I feel like she knows, but she doesn't want to admit that she was wrong. But yes, going to all of that. That's right. I was just like, well, if she yeah, asks you just, for what, huh? tell her what. You tell her what she did to you, because it's hard yeah. for women to admit that they're wrong. They can point out right. everybody else, but they can't <laughs> admit that they're wrong. And, and that's what drives boys and girls and men and women crazy because their mothers won't admit that they're wrong. And they think that they need their mothers to admit that they're wrong. They don't. They just need to forgive her so God can forgive them and take them away from the mother. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I was just like, I was just like, I forgive you for emasculating me. And, then, <laughs> and that was it. Uh, <laughs> Well, if you need counseling, man, call my office and set up an appointment, and we'll talk. I'll show you. I'll talk to you about it. All right, man. That's cool, man. I definitely appreciate that. I will if, if I need that. Thank yeah, you. if you need it. But let me. Yeah, face your mother. Don't be afraid. Be honest with her, and no matter what she says, you be honest. And if she asks you for what, tell her what she did to you, and then just say, "Hey, I realize you can't help it." You know, you can help yourself, and God will forgive you, Ray, and you'll be fine. It'll be amazing, man. All right, man. I'm going to try it again, Jesse. Thank uh, you so much for all your help, man. And just keep all right. on doing what you're doing, man. I know that you're making such a big difference in this world. I really do. Let me know how it goes, all right? All right, I will, man. Thank uh, you. God bless you, Ray. All right, you too. Bye.